how to install with one click pre-configured Hogging Face Hogs AI models on DigitalOcean GPU droplets. DigitalOcean's GPU droplets allows for deployment of Hogging Face generative AI services, also known as Hugs, which has an extensive library of pre-trained models and their text generation interference TGI solution. This enables seamless integration of machine learning, ML, large language models, LLMs, with DigitalOcean GPU droplets. In this video, we'll create a Hogging Face image on a GPU GPU droplet with one of the available open source models. We'll then create an SSH public and private key pair using PuttyGen to allow us to log into our GPU droplet using Putty, which is an SSH client. Once logged in via an SSH client, we'll be able to see our bearer token, which will allow us to run text generation inferences (TGIs). Finally, we will run a TGI post request query using the messages API of the model you chose when making your GPU droplet. This will give us a text response with an answer to our question. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to DigitalOcean and it will give you $200 in free cloud credits to try out DigitalOcean servers free for 60 days. I'll put my referral link in this video's description below for your convenience. Next, if you don't have a DigitalOcean account, you'll need to sign up either with an email, your GitHub account, or a Google account. Now, I already have a DigitalOcean account, so I'm simply going to click on sign in. Once you've signed into DigitalOcean, you'll be taken to your DigitalOcean dashboard. To create a GPU droplet, you can simply click on GPU droplets on the left here, or you can click on create and then click on GPU droplets to create cloud servers with GPUs. Pick a data center region for your GPU droplet by clicking on this drop down arrow and then choosing your region. Currently, DigitalOcean only has two regions, but in the future, when you're watching this video, there'll probably be more all around the world. I'm going to be going with the Toronto data center here. Next, we'll need to choose an image for our GPU droplet. By default, it will be set to OS. You wanna click on one click models. Here, you'll be able to select popular models pre-configured by Hugging Face to run on GPU droplets. Now, I'll need to select a hugging face image. So I'm just going to scroll down just a bit more so we can see all the models available. So here are all the models currently available for a hugging face image. I'm going to be going with Llama by Meta Llama and the model version. You can click on this drop down arrow next to the model. So I'm going to be going with Instruct 3.1-70B for this video demonstration. I'm now going to scroll down until I see where it says choose a GPU plant. Currently you have two options here. You can either choose between an NVIDIA H100 X8, which means eight of these H100 NVIDIA GPUs, or you can pick a single NVIDIA H100 GPU. Now for you, probably just one GPU is enough. However, this is a video demonstration and I wanna show you how long it takes for eight NVIDIA H100s to be deployed on DigitalOcean. So I'm going to click on this circle here to select NVIDIA H100 X8. Next, scroll down until you see where it says, add an SSH key for authentication. So for GPU droplets, you need to add an SSH public key. To do this, click on add a SSH key and underneath public key in this text box here, we'll need to paste in our SSH key content. To paste in the content, we're going to need to generate our public key and our private key. The public key is what we paste in here and the private key is what we use with Putty to log into our NVIDIA GPU droplet. Open up another tab and navigate to putty.org. Once you're here, click on download Putty. Putty is available on the following operating systems. I'm on Windows, so I'll be downloading the 64-bit x86 Putty installer. The Putty installer will also install other Putty tools, including Putty Gen which is what we'll use to generate our SSH key pairs, the public key and the private key. Now I've already installed Putty, so I'm not going to be going through the installation process again. However, if you'd like a step-by-step -step video on how to install Putty and its other tools, I'll put a link to one of my videos in this video description below, so you can click on it for your convenience. I'll also put it as a card at the top right-hand corner of this video. So once you've got Putty installed, just minimize your browser to be taken to your desktop. On your desktop, if you don't see the Putty Gen and Putty shortcuts, you'll simply need to search for them at the bottom bottom of your taskbar here, and then open the programs or create shortcuts. So I've already got two shortcuts here, so I'm going to open up Putty Gen by double clicking on it. Once you've got the Putty Key Generator open, we're going to need to generate a public and private key pair. To do this, simply click on Generate. Now I'll need to generate some randomness by moving the mouse over the blank area to generate our key pair. Our public key and private key have now been generated. The public key is displayed right here in this text box. It starts from SSH-RSA, so I'm just going to left click here from SSH and go all the way down to highlight all of the SSH public key. Once I've done that, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click copy. I'm going to open back up my browser 
I'm going to go back to my DigitalOcean dashboard. I'm going to right click in the SSH key content text box underneath public key, and I'm going to click on paste to paste in my generated public key. Now we'll need to give our public key a key name. So I'm going to call it hugs dash llama. Hugs meaning hugging face and llama meaning the model. And then I'm going to click on add SSH key. Now all we need to do is select that public SSH key to add it to this GPU droplet. I'm now going to minimize my browser for the time being, as we're going to need to save our SSH public key and our SSH private key. So first let's save the public key. So I'm just going to click on save public key in PortyGen. I'm going to pick my desktop as the location to save and I'm going to call this key public dash hugs dash llama and I'm going to click on save and there we go our public SSH key has been saved to our desktop next I'm going to save our private key so I'm going to click on save private key putty gen then warns you are you sure you want to save this key without a pass phase to protect it so right here you can add a key phase if you want which is an extra security measure as this is just a video demonstration I'm not going to bother so I'm just going to click on yes pick a location to save your private key again I'm going to go with the desktop and I'm going to call it private dash hugs dash llama once you've given it a name just just click on save to save your SSH private key. And there we go, guys. There's our SSH private key. Both our public private key pairs are now saved on our desktop. We can now close out of PuttyGen. Open back up your browser. Scroll down a bit more if necessary until you see where it says choose a unique name. This is the name of our GPU droplet. So I'm just going to click on this text box here. I'm going to delete everything that's currently there. And I'm going to call this droplet hugs llama dash test. All that's left to do now is to create our droplet by clicking on create GPU droplet. I'll be back with you guys once our GPU droplet has been successfully set up. Now because my GPU droplet is eight NVIDIA H100s, it's going to take a lot longer than if you were just creating a droplet with one of these GPUs. Again, I'll be back once our droplet has been deployed. All right, I'm back. Our GPU droplet has now been created and you know that by the active green status symbol here. Currently you're in the overview tab. You also have insights, networking, volumes, back Backups and snapshots, activity and settings. You also have more actions here also. We're going to remain in the overview tab and we're going to look to the right here to connection details. We're going to need to copy our public IPv4 address. This IPv4 address will allow us to connect to our DigitalOcean GPU droplet via PuTTY. My IPv4 address is 165.22.239.223. So I'm just going to click on the copy symbol here to copy it. I'm going to minimize my browser now to go back to my desktop and I'm now going to open PuTTY. So I'm just going to double click on the putty shortcut here. You'll then see hostname or IP address and a text box underneath. Just right click here and then paste in your GPU droplets IPv4 address. Before we proceed any further with putty, we're going to open back up our browser and we're going to open up another tab and navigate to the following URL address, marketplace.digitalocean.com slash solutions slash AI dash models. Once you're here, you'll need to find the AI one click model that you've installed with hooks. So you can just scroll down here and find it. Now mine is at the very top, it's called Llama. 3.170B. This is for the single GPU, but of course I installed a multi GPU with eight GPUs. Click on see details for the appropriate GPU model. Scroll down until you see where it says using curl. This will allow us to make a local API call. It will basically allow us to interact with the model via text on the putty command line terminal. So all I'm going to do is copy everything from the word curl all the way to this squiggly bracket here by highlighting it. And then I'm going to right click and click on copy. We don't need our browser anymore. So I'm just going to X out of it. And then I'm going to open up my notepad. So I'm just going to double click on notepad. You can open up any text editor and paste in the curl command. At the top of the command, curl space dash x, before the dash x, we'll need to add in dash v. So I'm just going to left click in front of the dash here, in front of dash x, in front of the x. I'm going to then type dash v and then space. Underneath that, it has quote http colon slash slash and then your droplets IP address. So I'm just going to delete the forward arrow, your droplet IP, and then the back arrow. So I'm just going to delete all of this here. I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to move putty to the side here. I'm going to highlight my IP address once again, right click and click on copy. And then I'm going to go back to my text editor here. And after the first two slashes before the third, I'm going to paste in my droplets IP address. So it should be slash slash your droplets IP address slash V1. Under minus D, you should see model. You're going to delete this entire line. So from the comma here, just delete everything to move the messages line up one line. Now to save you time, I'll put the curl command in this video description below. So all you need to do is really just copy it and then change the IP address here for your droplet. So now I'm just going to highlight all of this and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on copy. We'll get back to this in a second, but I'm going to minimize my text editor now. All right, so we're going back to putty now. So you've pasted in your GPU droplets IP address. 
Now what we'll need to do to log into our GPU droplet using PuTTY, we'll need our SSH private key, and we'll need to add this to PuTTY as part of our authentication. On the left hand side here, click on the plus next to SSH, then click on auth. You then should see the word browse with a text box, and above it it says private key file for authentication. Click on Browse. Locate your SSH private key that you generated with PuttyGen and saved somewhere. Of course, mine is saved on my desktop, so I'm going to click Desktop, and then I'm going to select it. Mine is called Private-Hugs-Llama, and then I'm going to click on Open, and then I'm going to click on Open again. When you first connect to your GPU droplet using PuTTY, you'll be greeted with this PuTTY security alert, which lets you know that this server's host key is not cached in the registry, and you have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is. So we're going to click on Accept to proceed with logging in as of course, we are connecting to our GPU droplet, and I'm now going to maximize the terminal window. At the top left, it says login as. We're going to be logging in as root, so type the word root and hit enter. As soon as we log in, we'll be able to see our bearer token, which is what we'll need to add to the curl command to interact with the hugs model. So I'm just going to highlight it, and this will automatically copy it from PuTTY to our clipboard. I'm then going to open up my text editor. Once you've got the text editor open, under minus H for authorization, you can see bearer. Here you'll need to paste in your bearer token, so delete everything from the forward arrow to the back arrow and then right click and paste in your bearer token. Again, copy the curl command by highlighting it, right click on it and then click on copy. Minimize it again. Now before we paste this in, let's check on our A NVIDIA GPUs. So to check if it's actually installed on this GPU droplet, type the following command, NVIDIA dash SMI space dash capital L. Once you've typed this in, hit enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, you'll get a list of all your GPUs in your GPU droplet. Of course, I have eight of them and it's starting from zero all the way to seven. Zero counts as one of your GPUs, so it's a total of eight GPUs from numbers zero to seven. Our GPU is called NVIDIA H100, 80 gigabytes each of memory. It's a HBM3, and these are the UUIDs for each GPU. Great, so now that we've confirmed we've got all our GPUs installed on our GPU droplet, we can now, in fact, interact with the hugs model that we've installed on our droplet. I forgot actually to customize the text question on the curl command, so I'm just going to open up my notepad once again for messages. The current question is, what is deep learning? Let's ask the Llama Hugs model, when was the first iPhone released? So I'm just going to delete the current question here. I'm going to leave the question mark and I'm going to ask the model, when was the first iPhone released? Again, guys, I'll put this curl command in the video description below so you won't need to fiddle with this too much. So everything now has been edited in our curl command and I'm just going to highlight it all again and I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to minimize it for the final time. Now all that's left to do is to right click in the PuTTY terminal window and hit enter on our keyboard. The AI model will then reply to our post query and as you can see, the answer is right here. So I asked it, when was the first iPhone released? And it gave us an answer of, the first iPhone was released on June 29, 2007. You can interact with the Hugs model in any way you want. You can even add a front end so you can interact with it more visually. You can train it and you can customize it as much as you want. All right, so that pretty much concludes the video on how to install with one click pre-configured Hugging Face Hugs artificial intelligence AI models on DigitalOcean GPU droplets. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so